Hey everyone, welcome back for episode five of Full Swing Sessions. Today we're gonna to walk you through some of the functions on practice mode. Let's get started. So from the main menu, let's go into practice mode by selecting practice and then driving range. From here, we'll start by taking note of our shot statistics section on the left side of the screen. This will capture and store all club and ball data from each shot and will also give you an average from your session. Next, take notice of the drop down arrow. Here, this gives you the option to reset your session at any point in time. You can also add scoring zone, which will allow you to place a target anywhere on your driving range by tapping or tapping and dragging. You can center your target here and then you can also increase width or decrease width of target. You'll have your distance, direction, and width listed up top. When you've chosen your target, just go ahead and hit accept. As in any mode of play, you will also have your aiming option on the right side of the screen. On the bottom right, you'll have trajectory traces added to each shot with option to change colors. This can be a great tool if you are changing clubs during a session so you can keep track of the different variances between clubs. Finally, we'll also take note of the ability to adjust wind settings. Tap the icon in the top center of the screen, and then you can navigate by clicking through the different wind options. You can also tap and drag on the right to adjust the wind speed, and then select the check mark when you're ready. And now we're ready for practice mode. All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap it up for today. As always, leave any questions, comments, or training ideas in the box below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us at Full Swing Simulators. Talk to you soon.